So get ready for a doubleheader at Petco Park, but we're not talking about baseball. Instead, we're talking about two music legends that are performing at the stadium this weekend. CBS 8's Alex Lai is in the East Village previewing tomorrow's Billy Joel and Sting concert. Take a look. Yeah, right. Uh, two of the biggest music legends in history will take over Petco Park tomorrow, and this is the only West Coast stop on their tour, so there are a few things you need to know before you go to make it an unforgettable night. So tens of thousands of fans will be attending this concert tomorrow, so it's going to be a busy night. One of the biggest stressors when heading downtown is finding parking. Peco says to expect increased traffic and parking delays, plus limited event parking, so key tips are to arrive early, pre-purchase parking if you're planning on driving, and the best tip is to take public Public transportation. All three MTS trolley lines plus some buses have direct service to downtown San Diego. There's three trolley stops just blocks away from the state uh, stadium and make sure to arrive early, not just for parking, but also to get inside the stadium and find your seat. Gates open at 530 and the show begins at 7 p.m. and reentry is not allowed to so make sure you're good to stay once you get inside. If you're wanting souvenirs to remember this night, there will be a merchandise tent outside of Peco on 10th Ave and Park Boulevard. It will open at 3.30, but there'll be merch available to purchase inside as well. And the biggest question, what can you bring inside? Of course, no food or beverage is allowed in, but this includes sealed and reusable water bottles. And Peco has a new bag policy. No bags are allowed except single compartment clear plastic bags, no longer than 12 inches by 6 inches and infant medical bags and purses are allowed in but can't be larger than 5 inches by 7 inches. As far as where to enter, there's a few different entrances. Ticket holders should look at the KBYG email they got for information on where to enter depending on the ticket. And the few last things to keep in mind, Peco Park is a cashless venue, so skip the cash tomorrow night. And tailgating is not allowed in the tailgating lot for this event. So you can find the list of all of these tips and more at CBS8.com. And tickets and parking passes are still available to purchase. And if you're not heading out to the show tomorrow night, this is a good heads up and reminder that it is going to be pretty busy downtown. Uh, outside of Peco Park, Alex Lai, CBS8.